the Wildlife Conservation Society Country Director to PNG, Dr. Ambrose Brenia, said the Port Mosby Nature Park, PNG's highest visited single recreational facility, is doing a fantastic job in promoting and supporting the conservation of the country's unique biodiversity. The Wildlife Conservation Society, the longest established international conservation organization operating in PNG, also manages four zoos and one aquarium in New York, USA. They are thus well aware of the challenges that zoos are facing during the COVID-19 pandemic and they hope that their donation can help Port Mosby Nature Park continue its important work in wildlife conservation. It costs the park 110,000 kina per month to look after its 550 plus native animals, from the purchasing of food to paying wildlife officer wages to electricity powering pumps, heating and cooling life support systems to water for exhibit cleaning, filling ponds and wildlife drinking, and to security services to keep the park's wildlife and property safe. These monthly expenses exclude the cost of the park's other vital services, including the school's education programs, research programs, general park maintenance and garden upkeep, and provision of the nature park's public events. As a registered charitable organization, the Port Mosby Nature Park derives 70% of its income through visitation and local business support. However, since the state of emergency, the park's visitation has dropped to over 75% and a number of PNG businesses have been unable to lend as much support. Port Mosby Nature Park's CEO, Michelle McGeorge, said they are immensely grateful to the Wildlife Conservation Society for recognizing the Nature Park's commitment to the care and rehabilitation of native wildlife, many facing extinction if not orphaned, abandoned or injured. Mac George noted that other ways local residents could support the park was by visiting, joining the park's membership program, eating at the cafe or buying something from their souvenir shop.